really has just been another reminder that, yeah, there's still a lot of oil out there that has not been accounted for. And we could see this with the more powerful hurricanes when they hit the beaches. Hurricane Sally has left oil on Florida beaches and environmental groups believe it came from the BP spill more than 10 years ago. Good evening, I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Cherise Gibson. Scientists have been warning for years the BP oil spill in 2010 left a bathtub ring of oil on the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. Eyewitness investigator David Hammer has been covering the BP spill since it happened, and today he looks at whether Hurricane Sally could have stirred up some of that oil from a decade ago. In 2015, five years after the BP oil spill, we showed you this huge tar mat on the shores of Grand Terre, a Louisiana barrier island. Well, we're back in the exact same spot we were with the BP cleanup crew, and as you can see, another tar mat has popped up from under the sands. It rises when the tides wash the rest of the sand away, and it smells like asphalt. Locals like Greg Blanchard worried more BP oil was on its way. They trying to see that it's over and it's done, you know, and it's not. It's far from being done. It's still going to be a lot of more oil washing up on the beach. And lo and behold, here we are five years later, more than a decade after the 2010 oil spill, and now we're finding that Hurricane Sally has dumped miles of oil onto Johnson Beach in Perdido Key, Florida. You can see in these overflight images a lot of black material on Perdido Key. On Saturday, the Pensacola News Journal found what appeared to be weathered oil along miles of beach near the Florida-Alabama line. Scott Eustace from the environmental watchdog group Healthy Gulf says it's only speculation where the oil came from, but there are several signs pointing to remnants of BP spill. The sheer amount of material um, and where it is and the, the degree to which Sally moved the island all point toward uh, that this is uh, something that was uh, buried in 2010 somewhere and ended up on our beach after the hurricane. The U.S. Coast Guard in Mobile is testing the oil now in a process called fingerprinting, which should be able to tell if it came from the BP site. BP said it will wait to see what the Coast Guard finds before commenting. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Well, the fingerprinting process can take several weeks, and BP's public reporting shows it did extensive cleanup on Perdido Key in the years after the spill. It also reported that no oil washed up on Perdido Key in previous tropical storms.